Hey guys, this is Steven from the Green Engineers and welcome to my research YouTube series which I'll be conducting research on green engineering technology as well as 3D printers uh, which are additive technology. So in this video, in this small uh, series, multi-part series, I'm going to be talking about does moisture actually affect PLA uh, filament and affect your final 3D prints. So this is the preliminary findings video. So this, in this video I did a short uh, experiment on the extremes of moisture content and PLA and how they affect your 3D printed part surface. So I got my little notes here. So uh, the experiment, I used three different samples of octave, they were all octave PLA filament at 1.75 millimeter, obviously PLA. So the first sample was the extreme as far as moisture content. The extreme was a uh, waterlogged filament. I took filament and I put it in a pitcher of water and had it soak for a week. So that is assumed to be the most moisture that the PLA could hold. Then my second sample was my control, which was PLA just sitting around in the house environment with no sort of uh, waterlogging or force baking. My third sample was PLA that was force dried at 150 Fahrenheit in a small little oven and uh, it was force dried for two and a half hours and my printer specs on my um, aluminum costle delta is about 35 millimeters for oh, okay so first of all uh, I did 230 degrees Celsius for the bottom layers and then I turned it down to 217 then my speeds are 35 millimeters for perimeter small perimeter is about 12 um, external perimeters 50%, infill 55, solid infill 35, top solid infill 20, support material 55, of which no supports were turned on, and the file is a 3D benchy, by the way. So uh, bridges at 35, travel at 105, first layer speed 35 millimeters per second. And I have, uh, what was it, three perimeters of skirt. And that is pretty much my experiment. So, for my results, I uh, does moisture actually affect PLA? Kinda, not really. So here I'm gonna have an overlay of the different quality of prints. So with the moisture um, filament at the very end, you could see that the sidewall finish is bubbling and causing a lot of uh, bad rippling of the surface of the 3D Benchy. So that is clearly an issue, but as you see as it goes farther up, the filament starts drying, actually being inside a room, a room environment, and starts to clear up. You can see that some of the, ed even the edges are pretty good. And uh, you'll notice that it also didn't finish the print. The reason why it didn't finish the print is because when I took it out of the water pitcher that I waterlogged it, it had incredible amounts of uh, brittleness to it. So it just kind of snapped apart, kind of just disintegrated. So about two grams, I put about 14 grams in there, and about two or three grams fell off just taking it out of the pitcher. Then you'll see that I have the um, baked or the, uh, the room, room temperature print. Now that room temperature print was uh, pretty good, but you can see on some of the edges that uh, it was pretty jagged and stuff like that. So it was okay, maybe a little bit of moisture in there, but not too much of a issue compromising the surface finish of the PLA. And now if you look at my uh, force, my force uh, dried filament at 150 degrees Fahrenheit, it has a lot sharper edges and has a lot better surface quality, a lot smoother surface quality, a lot less surface imperfections, and it's an overall a better print. Now, the reason why I say that the that uh, moisture affects PLA kind of is because I have another print that I did before testing it out. I did at 230C, and uh, 225C actually. And it actually has similar finish compared to my um, oven cured. 
So just by upping the temperature, just by changing the specifications to match, uh, just to change the settings to match your PLA or your printing material perfectly, could actually cause you to get better results without using the energy to bake the filament. But that is just a, uh, this is just a preliminary finding since there is an obvious difference at the same settings and the same exact um, STL file with three different types of filament. I will keep investigating in next video. I will be checking out an array of different sort of um, moisture content inside the filament and see if that causes any any sort of issues as well and where the cutoff is and if in that case that just having in a uh, PLA that just sits out in your house environment as long as it's not outside is perfectly fine for most of your 3D printing uses. Hey guys, thanks for watching my research video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube for more videos in the research series. If you guys want to keep up to date with the topics I'm going to perform my research on, please check out my blog on my website. It is in the description. Also on my website are the full write-ups for each of my research experiments. If you guys like these videos and would like to fund more expensive content and other projects, Please check out my Patreon where I have some really unique rewards and stretch goals for cool projects and topics. I like to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.